Joining me now is Brian Cunningham. He is the executive director of the University of California Irvine Cybersecurity Policy and Research Institute, and he was a White House national security lawyer. You have so much experience in this realm, Brian. Tell our viewers, because I think for a lot of people, it's a threat, it's an invisible threat. You don't see it, right? And, and if you're not impacted directly, it's hard to really care about it day to day. What is your message? Thanks for having me, Pamela. This is very frustrating for me because this ransomware attack on infrastructure threat is both extremely serious from a national security standpoint and completely preventable. And that's what I want your viewers to take away, completely preventable. Ransomware is one of the easiest attacks to protect against. Back up your file securely, train your employees not to click on suspicious emails, and exercise your crisis response plans. There is no reason why these ransomware attacks have to be successful at all, much less on our critical infrastructure. But what is the real world impact? Why is this such a big deal? Why is the FBI director comparing this to the threat landscape after 9-11? Well, I think it's because for the first time you've seen escalating attacks on our critical infrastructure that actually are bringing pain and suffering to the American people and have the potential to bring a lot more. By the way, this is no accident. You don't have an attack on the gas and oil system, the food production system, hospitals, a week or two before a major international summit uh, with the Russians. Either the Russian government is tolerating these attacks or they're directing them as a way to test the administration. But either way, they're going to get more and more serious unless we do something to stop them. And not just individuals and companies having better cybersecurity, but I mean our government taking action to let bullies like Putin know that this is not going to be acceptable. I want you to listen to Dan Coates, the director of national intelligence under President Trump back in 2018. It was in the months prior to September 2001 when, according to then CIA director George Tenet, the system was blinking red. And here we are two decades, nearly two decades later, and I'm here to say the warning lights are blink blinking red again. Today, the digital infrastructure that serves this country is literally under attack. And yet it was just this past Thursday the Justice Department said it will coordinate anti-ransomware efforts with the same protocols as it does for terrorism. Why now? Is that too little too late? I, I don't think it's too late. I think we still have time. I think the reason for the change in position by the Justice Department is, up until very recently, the dangerous potential cyber attacks were not being conducted through ransomware. Ransomware attacks were viewed as largely a private sector only economic threat. Now that the criminals and or the governments that oppose us are understanding that they can do both. They can make a lot of money with ransomware and they can degrade and threaten our infrastructure and, and make our citizens upset through ransomware. And it's also much easier than a lot of the more sophisticated attacks where you really do have to break through defense systems like in the U.S. government or in critical infrastructure here, you only have to find uh, an employee who makes a mistake at a, at a critical infrastructure provider not properly backed up their data. So I think the bad guys are learning now that it's not just a way to make money, it's a way to attack our security, and the government's reacting to that. All right, Brian Cunningham, thank you so much for bringing your expertise on this issue to the show. Thank you.